What an incredible game um, for our program, uh, for our fans and all of our alumni. You know, university kind of watching back home. Um, I knew we were an older club. I knew we have a lot of talent and we come in and handle uh, that environment but for our freshmen to do it. I think it was one of the most incredible performances I've seen uh, for a purple ace in a baseball uniform in many, many decades. It might take you back to 1988 when Andy Bennis performed out in the Arizona State Regional in that performance. But for Kent and Deverman to get on the mound and handle uh, that atmosphere with strikes, pound in the zone, a nice even keel heartbeat, even after the home run, next pitch was a strike. I think it was really, really incredible. We had our seniors step up, make some big moments um, with the bat. Uh, Kip uh, delivered a big barrel for us. Kent Witter, Chase Hug, you know, took the bun off and he executed and, and threw one in the gap for us. Uh, but also defensively, Mark Schallenberg makes an unbelievable play in left field and Ty Rumsey. So just a really well-balanced play game for the Aces. And I'm emotional because um, it was one of the most incredible experiences I've ever had as a coach leading this program. And I'm really proud of our club. We'll start with questions for student athletes. Ken, you know, talk about being a freshman, stepping into that moment, and how did you perform that well? Oh man, I mean, I mean, it was awesome. I mean, this place is something that I've never experienced before, and you know, like I just, you know, like, like I just try to, you know, like I'm just do me and just just go out there and just just throw strikes. Is, was there a little bit of nerves before the game for you? Or oh, was yes. It all I mean, yeah. I mean, like, I was trying to warm up, and, you know, like, they were trying to talk to me out there. But, I mean, yes, uh, the nerves were definitely high. But, you know, like, I just tried to stay focused. And what was going for you today, do you think? Uh, everything. <laughs> everything pretty much. I mean, um, yeah. I mean, like, I just tried to attack the zone to the best of my ability with, I mean, with, with heaters. And, yeah, I just kind of went from there. And they just mentioned how, how quickly you were kind of throws the batters off balance. Is that something that you've – that part of your game that you've really worked on. Yeah. Try. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like as I as I kind of get going, I just kind of get into like a rhythm, you know, and like I'm just not thinking, I'm just up there pitching. And that play that you took to throw the first base, you kind of slipped on first base. Can you describe that moment, kind of what happened there? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, it was it was, it was hit to first, obviously. So I was trying to go cover the bag and uh, kind of kind of an off throw. So I, you know, I was trying to like reach back and then I was trying to just tap the base with my foot and then and then the runner came in, but. Yeah, I mean, I was I was trying to do my best to get the out. Gotcha. Kip, for you, the, the home run, kind of walk us through that as first pitch, kind of jumping on that and everything. Um, you know, on our scouting report, they the that pitcher tonight, he, he's got a great changeup. So um, I went up there thinking that, you know, he could start me off with a changeup here, and that's what I got. And kind of kind of golfed it out. You know, it was a great pitch, and uh, somehow I got to it. And I uh, wasn't sure if it got out myself. I had to wait for a reaction from fans and all that so uh, one of the cooler moments I've had in my playing career you know uh, something like that you know puts momentum on us and uh, it, was, it was really cool. Kip, Kip from your perspective as an older player on this team and the maturity that you're seeing I guess you've seen all year long from this freshman he's pitched a lot of innings for you yeah. uh, what, what makes this guy so so mature beyond his years? Yeah, I'm, I'm about 10 years older than he <laughs> is so and I couldn't go out there and did what he did tonight and today and my gosh, you know, like I could say a thousand words about about this guy as a as a player and as a human. You know, he's got he's got nerves of steel. You know, it's it's pretty rare coming from a freshman, and uh, you know, just seeing that and you know, I mean, it really gives you goosebumps. You know, just as an older guy, he's, he's going out there for these for our older our older team, and he's going out there and he's giving it his all, and it was cool. It's really cool. And Kip, you've been on around this program for a while now. What did this game mean to you guys? You know, what do you think you guys sent a message outside the NBC, kind of to the country in today's game? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think a lot of people agreed that we were a sleeper four seed. You know, uh, we could have easily been a three seed, but you know, we didn't care. Uh, we're just gonna go out there and we're gonna we're gonna give it our all. And uh, you know, NBC's got some great baseball, and uh, it's a it's a deep league. It's a tough league, and uh, I think we went out there and showed a little bit, but what it's like today. And have you guys played in an environment quite like that this year? What, was there any, you know, any nerves for you guys stepping up? Because it didn't seem like it. Oh, I mean, for sure there's some little nerves, but you know, we're, we're ready for it. We're a whole bunch of salty veteran guys. And, uh, you know, I think we really wanted it. And uh, that's, that's kind of what we went out there and did. You know, we went out there with the mindset of we're going to win this thing and uh, see what happens. Any other questions for student athletes? Thanks, guys. We'll let you go with your journey, teammates. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll go with questions for Coach. Oh.
First of all, thanks for making the trip. Man. Yeah, no problem. It means a lot. It does to bring this back home to Evansville um, so that they can get a little piece of what this experience is for our club. Um, he's been our guy all year. I feel like he was, should have, he earned pitcher of the year in our conference. You know, he was runner up and just, I knew he was going to be able to handle it with an even, even kill mindset. Listen to him talk, he was a little more nervous than I thought. But, um, you know, in this type of environment, you need strike throwers. You just do. Uh, anytime you're on the road, uh, on the road, in a hostile environment, um, strikes is what stops momentum and can create momentum for your club. And for him, just to uh, pound the zone, uh, the wind played an enormous factor today. Uh, blowing uh, ball was not carrying to center or right, and as you can see, they had a significant amount of lefties, and they touched a couple of baseballs today that I think could have changed the game. So it kind of worked in our favor a little bit. But um, like I said at the beginning, just one of the most Remarkable performances uh, for an Aces pitcher in our program's history, and one that I will always, always remember. And what type of message do you think that a game like this kind of sends to the country about this program? You know, it's not so much the country. It's just it's it's us. It's to the underclassmen. You know, the, these upperclassmen, these seniors have done so much. Um, you know, changing the trajectory and culture of our program. Uh, we were in a dark place back in seventeen and eighteen, and just seeing um, them believe in me, uh, believe in this place. And then going and performing in that, you know, capacity, I think, just shows uh, to our incoming recruits and, you know, to uh, our, our underclassmen that um, we can't compete. Um, we've established ourselves, you know, in the middle of the top of this conference uh, the last three years. And so it's just nice to be able to showcase that. So, I mean, everybody respects everybody in this game of baseball. Uh, you can look at the 306 Division One baseball programs across the country. Um, you know, year in, year out, you know, there's a lot of respect around. So uh, there's a lot of great programs out there that have performed. We did it today. And take to the bottom of the ninth, Shane has two go on. What did you go out? What did you say to him? That was Ship. Ship went out. Um, I don't know much what he said. Just probably to calm him down. We need to get the ball on the ground. Uh, you know, Starling was up, righty with some juice. And, and you know, Shane's a different look than Kenton, you know, with the slider. And the slider was on. As soon as I saw strike one from Shane, I knew he was going to be okay. So, um, yeah, he just needed to get a ground ball. We got a fly ball. Uh, and then to finish it out, just uh, he's been our go-to guy at the pen. You look at his numbers over the last two months have been pretty special. And what is this – have you guys played in an environment like this before? You know, what was that like kind of, you know, playing the game balls or taking it all? Never. Um, i say it started at the National Anthem. Um, you hear the introductory of their team. Uh, the support that they have, um, and when that firework went off, it was game on. We knew it was going to be a, a challenge and just a special overall experience. Uh, we knew that when we heard on the selection show, um, you know, what an opportunity it was. This is a bucket list kind of place uh, because of just one of the best college baseball atmospheres in the country. So uh, it was a great experience. And also, if you look at it, we need to get out in front. I mean, that's just so important to get out in front. You know, one, two, three runs to kind of keep them at bay. You know, trying to will them do something and um, so that's that was really crucial for us to get the home run get up two nothing just to kind of because if you fall down one two they were all kind of deal. Coach what, what is it about Ken's fastball that makes it play up so much I mean there was a lot of fastball today it just was so effective. Yeah special IVB get that special um, rise from the slot you know it just it plays at the top um, got a lot of swing and miss foul balls on it that's what he's kind of been doing um, I remember looking at the scoreboard and seeing 86 by some guys. It's just a unique, special fastball. It's sneaky and gets on top of you. Um, and that's just what kind of he's been doing all year. Flipped in a couple breaking balls to try to keep him honest, but mainly it was heavy, heavy fastball today. Coach, he gives up that bomb, and Kenton does. And I looked at the guy next to me and said, this next pitch could decide the game. And sure enough, he attacks McChrystal, two strikes. Have you ever coached a freshman that could do that in that moment after letting up a home run in front of 6,000 people? Never. Never. That's why. That's why this is uh, pretty remarkable. Um, solo home runs don't hurt you. And that's something that we just I bang the table on. Solo home runs don't hurt you. And it's it's whenever you go and walk the next guy and then you, they go up top kind of deal. Um, yeah, uh, it's it's it was pretty incredible. The next pitch was in the zone the way it was, especially with, with the electricity of the crowd. 
Kip mentioned it, you know, Missouri Valley is a tough conference. You guys won that last weekend, beat a team like Indiana State. That proved that you guys can go out there and beat any team in this country. Did you use that as a motivation going into to today's game? Yeah, I mean, we have a lot of confidence. Uh, we, we do um, play with house money. Like I said in the interview uh, on the field after our, our team practice, is playing with house money, going to let it rip, let it fly and represent our university, our athletic department. Um, but most importantly, it's just a testament, culmination of what uh, really – how we've changed the program over the five, for the last five or six years. And so um, just a special moment. Um, and I was really happy my family was here. They sacrificed so much. And so for them to make the trip out, brothers coming up, family, for them to just see all the hard work and everything that we as a coaching staff put in, it was great to experience this moment with them. Um, one that I would try, definitely cherish. Any other questions for Coach? What does your pitching look like going forward? Yeah, I mean, we got Donovan Schultz. Um, you know, a lefty senior, he's a salty vet as well. Um, that's who, who will be on the mound for us. Shane Harris bounced back. Got a lot of spin on the pen um, with Shane Harris, Jacob Meyer, Max Hansman. So uh, anytime you get the first game of a tournament, uh, now I haven't experienced this uh, a lot, but anytime you're in this type of format, when you get an eight-inning performance from your starter, you feel pretty confident about other pieces that you have um, and how we handled the four games in the conference tournament. I was really pleased that you know our arms perform well. So uh, heavy dose of uh, Donovan Schultz, Shane Harris again. He's kind of been our swing guy, start guy, out of the pen, long relief guy, uh, and Jacob Meyer, and, and then you got Nick Smith and, and Kevin Reed who have plenty of experience starting games as well. Anything else? I have one more. Look forward to tomorrow. Obviously, you don't know who you're going to play yet, but can you just describe both those teams and how you're looking to attack? You know, whichever team. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have our hands full no matter what. <clears throat> All four teams in this regional, I feel like it's one of the best regionals, toughest regionals in the country if you look at it. Um, you know, we're, we're definitely, uh, the arms on, on both squads are, are going to be a challenge, but um, we're going to enjoy this. We're going to enjoy this for the next couple hours. Uh, we've worked really hard preparing uh, all of our scouting reports. Uh, we feel very confident with where we're at. Um, but most importantly, we're going to be loose. We're going to be loose at the yard tomorrow uh, and, and compete uh, to the best of our ability. Really appreciate you guys. I do. Thank so, you, Coach. Thank you.